What we were doing when we entered Solidar and Bakhmut, there was a scene. This is how Azamat Uldaro, a former mercenary of the Wagner PMC, begins his story of atrocities in the occupied territories of Ukraine. The shocking confession was released by the public project Gulagu.net. On camera, he confessed to the murder of Ukrainian children. She lies, a small child, I don't know, five years. I shot, you understand? Control shot, you understand? I didn't have to pull anyone out, nobody. There was a command to clean up, liquidate, all who stand in the way. The shooting of civilians in Ukraine was a direct order from the leadership of the Wagner PMC, particularly Yevgeny Prigozhin, the former mercenary said. Who gave such orders? Look, starting from the top, I had Aceman, this is Stalin, this is the first commander, then Korshun, above them is Prigozhin, who told us not to let anyone out, destroy anyone, understand, and we followed orders. Even civilians, even children. Nobody, nobody. I emphasize again, nobody. Another participant in the Gulagu.net investigation is former Wagner mercenary Alexei Savichev, a prisoner who was recruited by a private military company. He says that he had three months left to serve before the end of his sentence. After 30 years in colonies and prisons, Savichev was appointed commander of a reconnaissance group. He, like Uldaro, confessed to shooting Ukrainian miners. The reason is the tattoos on their bodies. Well, 24 people, maybe 23, maybe 20 or so, was that only about 20 of them, 15, 16 years old, or was that the total? No, of those shot, 24, maybe 25 of them were shot, 16, 16, 17 years old people. The former Wagner members themselves contacted the hotline and voluntarily speak about the atrocities committed in Ukraine. Even Gulagu.net human rights activists were shocked by the confession of the mercenaries. This is a unique case of this magnitude because the amount of horror that we heard from these two people was shocking. Naturally, we were all aware of the brutality going on there, but these testimonies shocked us as well. The office of the president of Ukraine reacted to the confessions of the Wagner members. Fair punishment for all war criminals is what Kiev will continue to seek. Now it is about war criminals from the Wagner PMC, but it sheds light on the crimes of the Russian army in Ukraine. They kidnap our children and kill them. How many such crimes are there? A nation of monsters and murderers, the biological trash of this world. One confession is not enough. There must be punishment, a harsh and just punishment. And there will be punishment. We will find out all the facts of the crimes and find everyone who committed them. Andrei Yermak head of the office of the president of Ukraine on Telegram. Daily evidence of brutal Russia's crimes, mass, systemic, intentional, against prisoners of war, civilians, children, not enough? Considering all these things, yes, if the hideous physiognomy of a mass murderer sits in the United Nations, the International Olympic Committee wants Russia in the Olympics and Rosatom is not under sanctions. Mikhail Podolyak, advisor to the head of the office of the president of Ukraine on Twitter. Since February 24th last year, the Russian army has committed over 80,000 war crimes on the territory of Ukraine. This is reported by the Office of the Prosecutor General. According to Ukrainian law enforcement officers, almost one and a half thousand children have suffered at the hands of the Russian military. The Unified Register of Pretrial Investigations was registered under Article 438 of the Criminal Code of Ukraine, violation of the laws and customs of war. The circumstances mentioned in the interview will be checked as part of the investigation of criminal proceedings, and they will be given an appropriate legal assessment. From the message of the Office of the Prosecutor General of Ukraine on Telegram. Since Russia started its full-scale aggression against Ukraine, more than 500 children have been killed in Ukraine. Children in the Donetsk, Kharkiv, Kiev and Kherson regions have suffered the most. Executive director of the UN Children's Fund said that the real figure is probably much higher than the figures confirmed by UNICEF. Another tragic milestone for Ukraine's children and families. Since the escalation of the war in February 222, at least 501 children have been killed. 
This is just the United Nations by far number. The real figure is likely for higher, and the toll on families affected is unimaginable. Catherine Russell, executive director of the United Nations Children's Fund on Twitter. Torture, shootings and executions by the Russian military in the occupied territories are all documented by Ukrainian law enforcers to punish those who committed crimes and those who gave criminal orders. Reported by Roman Smoller, Larissa Zubenko, UATV News.